Hey friends, welcome to this week's studio chat. This week, I'm gonna give you an update on the ongoing Woodland series that I've been working on for probably the past month. And um, I have a new completed piece to share with you and then another painting that is in progress. So kind of our usual MO <laughs> for this series. Um, I will bring the paintings over on the easel and give you an update. Okay, so this is the painting that I finished this week, the squirrel painting that I shared with you last time that was very much in the beginning stages. I finished it up this week and um, again, I felt like I was navigating that interesting balance between having clarity and having haziness and abstraction a little bit. And um, I especially really enjoy the abstract sort of hazy texturalness I was able to get in the tree and then in some of these more like subtle areas in the background. I feel like this one came out with more clarity, kind of like the fox. It was the fox painting that was a bit more on the crisp and clear side, but I'm really happy with where it landed and I feel like I'm getting more and more comfortable with this different kind of color palette that I've been working towards that I've been sharing with you guys. These more jewel tones, these deeper, um, more rich, less kind of like holding back on the pastels. <laughs> I love my pastels. Um, and just working within a more, um, tight color palette and not running all over the color wheel using every single color in the rainbow, especially like these deeper kind of, um, reddish tones. I used a liquid or a, uh, fluid acrylic. I have it right here. This is the Golden Fluid Acrylic. It's called Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. I find that I really enjoy Quinacridone colors. They have this amazing intensity. They're um, the Quinacridone Magenta and the Quinacridone Red um, are both of my very favorite pinks and reds that I use from Golden. And so anyway, I really enjoyed this Nickel Azo, I can't even say it, nickel azo, azo gold <laughs> color because I was able to paint a base color on the squirrel that was just basically like a yellow ochre mixed with white. And so it was just kind of like a cream tone. And then I was able to go over it with this transparent fluid acrylic and it created this really beautiful, intense, like burnt sienna color, which I am loving. I use this as well on the fawn. And um, so I just wanted to share that with you that I was finding some interesting ways of using um, tr transparent fluid acrylics to kind of build up some depth and some rich richness in the fur areas. And also um, I painted berries for the first time and I, Okay, so I shared last time how I naturally love painting lots of detail. Like if I'm painting something, I wanna keep going and adding more and more like clarity and crispness. And I feel like my, the arc of my artistic journey um, has been letting go, letting objects be more hazy, be more indistinct, like hinting at things rather than doing, um, painting them with complete clarity. What I am really proud of is letting go of, of like crazy details and painting these berries in kind of a gestural style. Um, so anyway, that was really fun and something that I added at the very end of this painting. And you know what's really interesting is I painted the entire thing with all the flowers and then the squirrel and it just felt a little bit empty, like a little imbalanced, like there needed to be a third element, like the flowers, the squirrel and something else. And I had like batted around the idea of a fruit, but I hadn't put it in. And then um, I just looked and I saw like these three empty places. It was very strange, like it was the perfect placement for the berries and they were just empty spots in my composition. So like here that there was like a big, just sort of area with leaves up here, it was kind of big and empty. And then here it kind of felt like this flower was just like hanging out all by itself um, without like these really more intense sort of leaves around it. 
And so I just put the berries in those areas and then it, I felt like it just brought the composition together. And then I wanted to give you an update uh, on the bird painting that I shared last week that I wanted to revamp and rework. I've only reworked it a teeny bit, um, but I will share that with you anyway. Okay, so here is the bird painting. So last week, um, if you saw last week's chat, the whole background was like a very light, cloudy blue gray, I guess. And to bring it up to speed with this current collection, which is much more um, contrasty, like there's much more drama in the paintings, I feel like. So I just decided I'd go for it and replace that whole background with the blue, blue turquoise color. And then I just took the next step of adding all of this um, texture on top of it. So what I used for that texture is just my um, silicone scraper tool. It's a catalyst wedge. And um, I just scrape like this with my fluid acrylics. And so I added some, a lot of like haziness and interference happening, um, just scuffing up the background to help it feel like it has some more character and more texture. And now I'm gonna go back through and just rework the leaves, bring them more into foreground. I, I decided that I am gonna keep the general color scheme of the birds and just add more, a little bit more range of colors, some more like highlights and some more darks to them, but generally keep them the same. That's the update on the bird painting so far. Um, it is on its way to becoming part of this Woodland series. Thanks for hanging out with me for this studio chat. I wanted to give you a heads up that I might not be showing up for a new studio chat next Saturday because I'm working really hard toward um, releasing this Woodland collection next Saturday, the 22nd of October. I always like to give my email subscribers an early preview of the collection and then also early access to purchase from a new painting release. So if you happen to be interested in that, feel free to hop on my email list. I will put a link in the description. All right, thanks again, guys, and I will chat.